Yo, how's it going? Turn on my controller here. I'm gonna fix my taskbar. There we go. Full screen. Hmm. That was from Diamond and Pearl. I heard it's a prequel to Diamond and Pearl. I don't think I need to talk to her right now. Oh, come on. Okay, now I got my first star again. Good thing I had the doctor. Heavy balls, level 20 Pokemon. I guess I didn't save directly after we talked to her. Most people prefer when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone, and proving your worth by pr moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will always be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. I'm digging this game. If you want to play fra Frag Punk, so I'll watch that too. Either is fine for me. I'm done to play this game. Uh, Frag, I'm, I do want to play Frag Punk at some point. Maybe not today, but before it comes out to make a video. For today at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. I might not even like it, it might be. But usually, they're alright because not that many cheaters yet. <laughs> so, Sin my boy. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Potato Moochie tastes better when you are when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our survey core duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on a request from Beauregard? The people of Jubilife aren't too familiar with Pokemon you see. So if problem arrives with the Survey Corps gets the Survey Corps gets called to help. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, but other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently? Akari, what's it all about? About that, I was thinking maybe Sin could handle it for me. I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so Ah uh, yes, the request came from my my of the Diamond Clan, if I recall, recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hasoi since between before the Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them, <clears throat> including more about the local Pokémon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. The next day. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I can use your help with. Alright. Thank you, I'll be waiting at the training grounds then. If you caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pasture to change up your team. <clears throat> I need to give that guy a Wurmple. Beauregard. I caught him one, but I need to figure out where the pastures is. That's the training ground, so where's the pasture? Farm. Training grounds, Galaxy Hall. Front gate. Photography, your quarters, general store, 
pastures. <laughs> I don't know what the point of that marker was. Oh, I can see it. <laughs> this is your PC. Okay, let's get rid of all these bidus. Give us one of these weasels, maybe. And take our worm pool. I don't know if I need it in my inventory when I give it to him, but. I'd rather take like three shinks than like even one beetle. Wormpool might evolve fast. I think he does. That's why this guy wants him. I can catch another one though if I need it. I'm hoping it's this guy, but I have no idea. A big buizel. Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professor said they do, but I have a hard time believing it unless I see different sized ones lined up side by side. If there really are weasels bigger than mine, I'd love to see them lying side the one I have for comparison's sake. If you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? Oh, and you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you see where I'm going with this. If you catch a weasel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? I'll make it worth your while. Got a weasel on me right now. This one? You sure you want to give up this Pokemon? Yes. I don't think any of them are bigger. No. Alright. Where's Beauregard? I think it's him right there. You got a one you could give me? I wonder what he'll give me. Oh, you brought me one. You must be a good, as rumors say. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. Now, I've been told a Wurmple might evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautifly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. Hmm, this is a tough decision. Which one of these do you like best? Beautisha? Beautifred or Beugeen. Beautifred, obviously. Oh, yeah, I like Beautifred too. I guess that's the side of that. I'll raise Beautifred to be a splendiferous beautifly. Wait and see. I'll be Beautifred. Fred. Hell yeah. Dazzling honey. That might be good for catching some. Dan Pokemon now though. I want to trade Pokemon, what the hell? Oh, I don't think this is gonna work. In fact, I highly doubt it. <laughs> so let's just not do that. I'm not online right now. Listen, I've had an epiphany. And that is, you see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. You have a Pokemon? Yes, here is my partner, Pikachu. Holy shit. Biga! <laughs> when we were attacked by those Shinx, I got too scared to think straight and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partners refused to listen to anything I tell them. If I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. Bika. 
but when I see how you and your Pokemon work together, I realize we needed to do more too. So please have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. Hell yeah, battle. It's not gonna be very hard though with one Pokemon. Yeah, I'm gonna knock her out and take her Pikachu. Ember. Pikachu's level 9. I'm like, yeah. Paralysis. Ah, your ultimate weakness. Jinx. Attack. Who's quick attacks faster? Mine. Boom. It's fed. Battle decided. You and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. Holy shit. Move mastered. A lot of experience. Phew, thank you for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Pika! <laughs> I guess I was wrong then, but I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner, the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Bridge some gaps. Oh, and by the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently, all right, sounds good. Make a difference in how battles go. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. Both Pokemon and moves have types. The types match up between a move and its target Pokemon. Determines how much damage is taken. Moves can be super effective, effective, not very effective, or completely ineffective. Here are some examples of type matchups. Fire moves are strong against grass type move Pokemon. Grass type moves are strong against water type Pokemon. Water types are strong against fire types. So you're the one, th that new recruit everyone's talking about. The name's Zizu, Captain of the Security Corps. Or the name Zizu. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zizu is the master of the ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterward it will take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterward. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves Agile style moves, and of course regular moves, choose which one is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Once your Pokemon has mastered a move, you can have it use the move in either Agile or Strong style by pressing the L and R button, or the left and right button when selecting the move in battle. Sometimes your Pokemon will naturally master a move and unlock these extra styles simply by leveling up. Agile style reduces the power of the move, raises the user's action speed, uses more PP than usual. Strong style boosts the power of the move, lowers the user's action speed, uses more PP than usual. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. <clears throat> oh, that sounds cool. Caesar's teaching should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now, suppose this time I went to meet Mai. You remember I mentioned at the Wildflower that I can use your help with Mai's request? 
on to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well. Once you've ready your Pokemon team and perhaps had to learn some new moves from Zizu if you'd like. Oh yeah, we're getting some moves from Zizu. I want new moves. I'm sure you're your darling Pokemon. Do you want me to tutor? Sit Quill. Rest. Aerial Ace. Swift. Uh, rest and Aerial Ace. There we go. Yeah. There you go. Synthical's pool of moves is expanded. Oh my god. So many. Shinx. Um, Thunder Fang. Fire Fang. Ice Fang. Learn. Here we go. Yeah. I think this moves expanded. I want master's moves. I want to master moves. I can't help you book my master moves if you don't have a C to master. <clears throat> I want exchange items. Interested in an item exchange? What is it you're in the market for? Grit gavel, gravel, a grit pebble, a grit rock. Grit gravel? Grit gravel, sure, if you have 10 sacks of grit dust to trade. If you... It doesn't look like you do. Anything else? No. Speed down, special defense up. pretty good yet. Yeah. I just uh I went to that chick that we just met and uh she gave us new moves you could learn. So I taught Cintiquil Aerial Ace and Rest. And then I went to Shinx and I taught Shinx Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, and Fire Fang. <laughs> and Bite. So, and we unlocked 
agile style and strength style. So strength style slows you down, makes your attack stronger. Agile style speeds you up and makes your attacks uh, weaker, I don't know. <laughs> but it costs more PP. Boo. That was Volo. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. That's what I call it, the secret backstrike technique. Hitting Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch, or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. Oh shit, my head's up that. I wonder, can I play this with the uh, keyboard? Hit a wall Pokemon from behind for a higher chance of a successful catch or to gain an advantage while when starting a battle. The secret, te secret technique is called a backstrike. Okay, let me figure this out real quick. There's a lot of buttons. Let's stick button base bar oh down left right Let's see if this works prepared for survey core now working to create that pokedex as you all are you might end up meeting every last pokemon here and just why you shouldn't know you should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Well shit, I can use my keyboard. <laughs> oh, you're, you're that boy from the Survey Corps who fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lure recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe. I just know it's a winner. Problem is, the folks around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. If you're talking about the village, if people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go too. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do is return, is in return is spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you'll need to go get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrounge not from the for from the forages of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. Old springy mushrooms this is all you need. I'll be waiting. The only thing is, I don't know how to like look up and down. <laughs> this is just temporary, anyway. I could do this, this buttons a lot better than this, probably. Some munch slacks. The hail. Oh, 
There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. Can't let you pass unless you're first. Oh, at your rank, you should be fine. Go on, then. Don't let your guard down. Now, retreat at safety if you find yourself in trouble. Over here. My, this is Sin. My, my. A new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hosoi. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather have we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need to solve. So the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in a battle? I do. That's good to hear. That survey core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. Security core. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. <laughs> What level is this thing? Level 10? Okay. Aerialies? Oh, we'll roll out. That's not good. Uh, I don't have down on the D-pad, so hold on. I gotta switch my stuff around. Try Agile Star when you get the chance, okay. I'll check it out. I can only do it for quick attack. So I gotta keep using these moves to unlock it. I think I need to switch Pokemon. Oh, Rollout's gonna be good against Shin Shinx too. Fuck. Thunderfang. Oh, it's better. him. Paralyzed. Oh. Come well, on, I can then speed him again. Boom. Battle of the side. New move, since Quill. Come on. You really aren't one of those usual gal galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, much Lex. I'll take care of that Pokemon that battled for us. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should be proved to be useful materials. You obtained five Vivichokes. Also called Morning Dew Bud. It is used as a material for crafting items that can be 
restore vitality to a Pokemon that has fainted. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon to your track fights. It is a large fearsome foe like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you, to do your track fights? Your arc phone is beeping. The thing you have, it's showing you where you've got to go, isn't it? My oh, mind, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to do your track heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there, I know it. Seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps, new one. I wonder what Agile Quick Attack does. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about Almighty Sinath? Almighty what now? I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinath steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow. And this land in this er, and this land of Hisoi was born in the process. It's by the grace of the Almighty Sinath that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of people who crossed the sea and settled in the Hisoi region to venerate Almighty Sinoi. However, it stole away from from the world long ago hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinath has only rarely been seen by any human. Its old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisoi with a connection to Almighty Sinath, and it's the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinath's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. Oh, I'm missing a button. My great stick. Right stick. Button. Right stick. This. Save. Buy. Save. Oops. Okay, I can do everything again. Let's catch one of these Krikatots. Zero number you've caught with it being spotted. Okay. the first time I played this said the buttons backwards so it's actually the triggers you're supposed to use the lock on which is nice feels a little better now touch drawing style just because it's quick attack and it's gonna go first anyway I guess oh you hit me <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, I do want to throw it. Starly, you're breaking my balls, Starly. You're breaking my balls. Yeah, I'll throw it between two eyes. Dude, did I use all those Pokeballs already? Now, where's that crafting thing that I can use? Is this it? Yep. It would still work on quick attack if they were going to use quick attack. Whoa, it's like ultra instinct. Oh, he ran away. It's funny, the game works better today. It's not all like weird oh dear mind helping a guy out I'm after some cherry berries you know the shiny red ones they grow on some of the trees around here but I don't find any I don't have any Pokemon that can reach any of them for me that's where you come in friend throw one of those Pokeballs at the, poke, at the berry tree and your Pokemon will grab the berries for you be sure the Pokeball you throw has a Pokemon in mind be ashamed to waste an empty pot. Oh. If you hand me three of the cherry berries you get, I'll tell you another handy tip. Sure, here you go. You handed over three cherry berries. Thanks. Now, let's, here's a handy tip I was talking about. You can throw a berry near a wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Why not give it a try on the Cricket Tot around here? Fifteen Pokeballs. Oh, it's Geo, dude. Oh, he's a dick. Ember, nice. Burn me. Hopefully this don't kill him. No, we're good. We'll roll it. Okay, we're going to have to use... Oh, 
right? Yeah, yeah. X-ray trigger, eh? <laughs> Oh yeah, we'll get ourselves to you, dude. Need to get our uh, experience up. Listen to the point two of them at once. Some bullshit, dude. Oh, he's fine. Shanks. Nice thing. Oh. Yeah, it sped him. How did he do that? What the hell? Let's go, B Dude. Let's be agile style. Dude's looking around. Now's their chance. Build up their mullets. Oh, he slapped us. Get to slap the slapper. The slap the sloper. Slapper. Pull out. It's your only chance. Be dupe. No. Failed. You nappy you slapper. You flopper, you get slapper. Oh, he's got an air release. Alright, let's try some air release, even though we can some critical hit, yeah. Hey, you keep looking around. Get out of the Pokeball. So I guess I can use Pokeballs like this. That's not so bad. Weasel will solo easy trust. Yeah, that's a good idea actually. Zubat. Oh, and he wants to fight. The hell? He tried to kill me. I see how it is. Jeff. Hypnosis? Oh no. We're gonna have to swap to Cricketune. Who has no advantage here? See that look around. Tackle him. Throw your whole body. Oh no. It's over for Cricketot. Looking around. You didn't do shit. Tackle. Jeffina. Go 
go, go, gadget Pokeball. Yeah. You know what this reminds me of? It's kind of like Pokemon Snap if you were on foot. And you could do Pokemon battles. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Which is pretty cool. See if I can get up here, because I don't have very much HP left on my guys. I don't know if I should heal up here. There's probably like going to be a boss fight. Do I have to kill an alpha up here? Wait, I think I go everyday items. There we go. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us? <laughs> here he comes. Ooh, thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I can highly miss it on chance to observe an alpha now, could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of our way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay a trip tribute to a special Pokemon, a Pokemon descended from one of those ancient blessed by Almighty Sinap. <laughs> Dee Lee Lee Whoop. What Pokemon is the chat? I'll be right back, I gotta stretch while you figure it out.
Some cat thinks it's cricketune. He knows that t that sound anywhere. I actually don't know the answer. Hmm. If I were to guess from the cry, I would say deli bird. But if I'm gonna guess from the other types of Pokemon that are around, Cricketune makes the most sense. So I gotta second your Cricketune, but my guess was Deli Bird. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. <laughs> And that's what you're here for, Sin. To drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Good guess, good guess. On my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder elf Pokemon are feared across the, the land if they're all as oversized as this one. Exactly, they're not only big though. They are strong, and may know moves that others of their kind do not. But not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you are strong. Still than this, you are stronger still than this alpha. So go show it that beyond any mistaking. Show it that beyond any mistaking. Be careful, sin. Size is a potent weapon in itself. No doubt the alpha is powerful. Is a powerful and hard, hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Pokemon whose eyes glow red are called Alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger than others and may know moves that are rare for their species. They appear to be very difficult to catch. We can catch it. Dee 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 woo 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 woo. <laughs> Uh, okay. Press the Y button during battle to check the action order of all the Pokemon currently battling. This shows the order in which Pokemon will take their turn, upcoming turns based on their action speed. The action speed of the Pokemon is based on its speed stat, but it can also be affected by certain moves and items. A Pokemon with high action speed may be able to act multiple times in a row. He's filled with wild might, aerial ace, oh my god. I should check the action turns. Oh, I took half his health in one shot. He took me out too. Is he just a bug type? Aerial ace. Oh, I killed his ass. Oops. Bug flying, I think. He's bug dead now. Can evolve. Okay, well I got one now. Your bug. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? I didn't mean to kill it, man. Seeing someone best enough like that is truly reminds me of Legend of Hero World. You'd make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing opposite a foe. What Pokemon was that? Weird deer? Gotta be. I was gonna say Stantler. What in the world? It's Weird deer. He's a regional Stantler. Gotcha. 
I was going to say, I don't even know what weird deer is. You can ride him. He looks upon you with kindness, sin. I'd say the great weird deer has taken a liking to you. That's that is fortunate. He is a esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses with his boy while bearing a human on his back. A human who he a human he deems worthy, at least. He's a blessing to us all. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it? Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Aloha. Professor Laventon, Sin. Did they have mounts in Sun and Moon? Captain Celine sent me. She said that once Sin carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Ah, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Admin and the Commander, but still, it is truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this. The Hiswoi region is a land created by Almighty Sinoth for the sake of its Pokemon. All, as long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I'd imagine you should be also be allowed to use this land. The Great Weird Ear has taken a liking to Sin as well. This is a good sign. You may, you have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. So I thought there was something even stronger. If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with competing, completing the Pokedex. Anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction core arrives. Ooh, new base camp. Wow, what a camp. Here we have it, our new base camp by the Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. What is this, Monster Hunter? From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having another base camp to start from will be a great help on our surveys. This is our first bonfire. Nice work today, everyone. What say we all head back to the Wallflower? Forms. They look the same. Male, female forms. I gotta level up my crooked tot now. I mean, evolve him. After some potato moochie. <laughs> Benny Old Trum, the usual potato moochie, please. And make make it for three today as well. Benny, the old potato moochie master. Look at that potato moochie, it's fucking looks delicious. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied Cle Clevenor from the rumors? It ended up mauling some of the galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Uh, this is the cleavor that went that has reportedly struck. That was reportedly struck with by powerful lightning. Yes, I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the survey corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure. Sin here can handle things just fine. Are you certain? I've heard Cleavors. So mighty even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Now now, don't forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fight, fighting fit physique, 
I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. <laughs> the next day. Good morning, Sin. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. See if I can follow about here. There you are. Let's hurry to headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Finally realize you're wasting all my sin last precious time by bowing to a sham. Admin. There you go again. Ins insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinath as the ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinath, the font of all creation and ruler of space. Ah, you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of vast his ways space? Better than some, it's a miracle you should you showed up on time. Oh, mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you'd get lost in the pointless vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me get lost in Almighty Sinath's great gift to the Pearl Clan and our world's very basis, you wish. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinath, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman is the reverence for space. With the reverence for space is Aridia, leader of the Pearl Clan. And the man who is going on and on about time, Admin, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should save the conversation for after you report to him. Hey, <laughs> he's got his wormpole. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it'll actually become a beautiful eye named Beautifred. Over time. There are some requests posted on the blackboard. Which one will you check? Zubat eyes, obviously. Clarissa from the Security Corp has requested for us something to do with Zubat, I believe. Talk to the good lady and investigate as necessary if you please. There are some requests posted on the board. Which one will you check? Bothersome Bidu. Seems a band of Bothersome Bidu keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to Sumugi from the security corps and see if you can help set things in order. There are no other requests. There's a downstairs and an upstairs. Okay, so we're all open world. Uh -huh. I need to level my revolve this guy first. Evolve. X. Do it. It's like the drums. <laughs> the 
Kirk ties all to the cricketoon. Hell yeah, le 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 whoop. <laughs> Let's see how good he is. Absorb and tackle, hell yeah. Special attack down, special defense up. That's actually kind of cool. The good nature. Let's see what this request is. Alright, if a Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll fling an ore and berry, then run while it's distracted. If it, if I just stick to the plan, I'll be fine. Oh, Survey Corps boy. I was just headed out to the field lands to go gathering tumble stones, but I haven't got as many orange berries as I'd like. Are you familiar with orange berries? They restore some HP to your Pokemon and eat them. So you, you might imagine Pokemon tend to be very interested in them. You see where I'm going with this? Throwing an orange berry is a great way to distract and avoid wild Pokemon. They're indispensable. With that in mind, could I trouble you to gather five orange berries for me? They're priceless. By the way, can you get me some? <laughs> I'll give you nothing for it. Here you go. You handed over five. I gratefully accept. Gosh, I can't believe you went through trouble finding these just for me. Happy to help. Thank you. Gosh, you're nice for someone who fell out of the sky. Let's just tuck these away in my satchel. How many people does he meet to fall out of the sky? And are they assholes? I won't let your kindness go to waste. Wish me luck with those tumble stones. Very helpful. Complete. Three revives. Ugh. It was worth it just to make you get you off my screen. <laughs> was I supposed to talk to someone in here? Several people in here. Oh, splendid! You came along at the good time. I'm looking for a pick, pick, pickling stone. You see? Would you mind handing me, lending me a hand? It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickling pots and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Hmm. But I suppose. It'll be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. Best thing would be a stone to lift itself, actually. Oh, I've got a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodo Geodude that lives on deer track heights. Got him. Perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it for me? I'll head home and wait for you there. Jesus, she's gonna turn that Geodude into a pickling stone? What a bitch. Maybe we ought to build some spare lodgings in case anyone falls out of the sky. <laughs> oh, Levy. God, when he is wild, I'd eat him. Alright. Commander Kamado's office is on the third floor. This is the best person I could talk to, honestly. What do you intend to do about Cleaver, Commander Kamado? Maybe descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinath, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Admin. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Brokan. Is he not? That's my point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Brokan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. But even folks of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honorable nobles? Honored nobles? 
I don't believe I said that. Thought it may, might, maybe, there. You might have, you might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is the first, as far as I, as my clan knows, too. Hmm, I see you've arrived. This is Sin, the newest member of the Survey Corps. Ah, I hear from Mai that you've earned a weird deer's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I'm Admin, leader of the Diamond Clan. I want to be formal, but that's a mouthful. Just call me Adman. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be here from space where Almighty Sinath is said to reside? I'm Iridia, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I'm having trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleavor before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger, who supposedly fell from the rift, to study Cleaver. This newcomer with no experience, says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing his voice vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If, ha if how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid his chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways. Galaxy folk are uh, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinath made his soy vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout it. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon and not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from the desire to control po our Pokemon, only so they can live together so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission, Nassin. I order you to study Cleavor and help us find the truth of this situation. I accept. Remember, you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. You wish to fully accept and... You wish to be fully accepted and trusted. You must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. The Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Now that's like a mission out of Elden Ring. Well, it's settled. Do no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleavor, is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinas power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength, be warned. Listen to me. The Galaxy's expedition team has come to the Hasoi region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans, understand? Have you seen Cleavor yet? No. I haven't seen him yet. Is he like Sneasel or something in Metal? Metal Sneasel? <laughs> Join me downstairs soon. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Is he a person or Pokemon? Okay. Ah, good, you're already here. Professor Lavington, the briefing? If you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Sin, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzy state. But as you're aware, by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing. Nigh invincible, even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked. But I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're robbed. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. Well, very well. Then let's go over the particulars. 
The Diamond and Pearl clans revered their nobles because they believed these Pokemon served their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seat. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this Cleavor. Sin, we need to speak to you. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sinath itself resides, the true Almighty Sinath, that is, the one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that would mean you travel through time by Almighty Sinath's own power. Think of it, you might be just swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleavor, quell its frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adam. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleavor situation. Oh, you must be the galaxy's team scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleavor. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy team, of all people, for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleavor. Now there's certain bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've got all got to share his boy, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. And there shouldn't be any cap capable, there shouldn't, bleh, but there aren't many capable of standing up to such a powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleavor at Grand Tree Arena, that's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Lian. Lian is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know? He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleavor, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Godly as fuck, Pokemon. He certainly left quickly once he finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. We might need those heavy Pokeballs to catch him. Adam and I weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, you best start by visiting his abode. Our new heights camp would be a handy place for setting out toward Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the pastures too. You'll want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. Sounds good. Find yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across, a satchel always seeming full. If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend your, me your ear for a moment and hear what I have to say. You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours. If you'd like to learn the trick to packing things in, I can teach you if you'd like. What do you say? Teach me. I like your initiative. My teaching fee is a neat hundred zenny. All right. Yes, please. Perfect. And lend me your ear for a moment. You made space to keep one more kind of item in your satchel. And that's all. And that's all there is to it. You see how much more you could fit in by packing things rightly. If you want to be able to carry you more things, just more can teach you. What do you say? Teach me. 200. Perfect. Let me hear. More space. Teach me. Yes. <laughs> We're going to have lots of space now.
Yeah, that's all I can afford. Pastures down here. Don't have to bring the Geo dudes some. Yeah, we could use one of these guys. We think Starly or Zubat. Attack off, special attack down. Special attack down, special defense up. He's already got pretty good nature. Now I'm gonna give this Geo dude away and then come back and get another guy. If I can find the person that wants it. Listen here, Survey Corps kid, I saw the darnest thing. I was scouring the heartwood for cores when we could for cores we could grow in the fields here when I saw it. This Pokemon called Cherum changed his appearance before my very eyes. It was in the evening, the light was growing dim. All of a sudden Cherum's petals closed right up. It looked like nothing but a little flower bud. Wow, I thought I just witnessed the miracle of evolution. But this morning when I went back to you know, that Cherum, when I went to check in on that cherum, it was right back to full bloom. But why would it bloom just to close back up? Is that how evolution works, or was the change I saw something different? When you finish cherum's poke entry, let me have a look, would you? Would ya? Would ya? Let's see what we can teach Zubat. Use your blast to target with gusts of repulsive winds. May also raise the user's offensive and defensive stats. What do you think? Should I teach him any of these? <clears throat> Keep in mind his special attack is down. Because of his nature. Aerial Ace is pretty good, probably. Not Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace, yeah. And then... Kirkatoon. I don't have very much money now, but uh, this is what he can learn. Ball swipe could be useful. I'm gonna learn that just, just because it's only 200 anyway. Yeah, it's real good for catching Pokemon. 
there's, there's a woman who wanted a gold or geo dude though. Where was she to? You there, you seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you'd help me with something? I'd be very, very grateful if you brought a crafting something using a special recipe I came up with. So without further ado, here's the recipe. You obtain a recipe for pokey she dolls. Recipe for crafting pokey she dolls from scratch. This is a recipe for what I've named pokey she dolls. I invented them, you see, as a special item that we could make in this village. I would love to have you craft one and show it to me. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. I need wood. Investigate? Canala Bridge. Lamy. Bellamy. I'm pretty new to the village myself. I should try to talk to everyone I meet, so I always learn something new. I try to talk to everyone I meet, so I always learn something new. Hi, Clarissa of the security cord, that's me. Thanks so much for taking on my request. I need you to catch a Zubat and show it to me so I can look at its eyes. I'd request to know. Look, I could reason for it. Zubat never seemed to be flying around. To have trouble flying around the pitch black blackness. That means their night vision must be top notch. If I could learn how to see in the dark like them, night shifts and guard duty would be a breeze. So I'm counting on you to help catch Zubat and sh come show it to me, would you? Zubat don't even have eyes. Show her this one in case she takes it. I'll just take a look at those peepers if you please do that. Huh, where are those eyes on this little guy? Don't tell me it doesn't have eyes. But then that means Zubat flies around while being completely blind. Hmm, Zubat must have some other kind of secret sense if it doesn't even need eyes. So uh, that's amazing and all, but it hardly helps me. What am I going to do about my nighttime shifts on guard duty? Get a partner, Zubat. Oh, that's a great idea. No need for me to go it alone after all. A little help would be great. That's that, then I'll go out there and find a Zubat. They can help me as my partner. Thanks for your great advice. Axe power. AUX power. What the hell is that? An item that sharply boosts the offensive stats of a Pokemon during battle. This effect disappears if the Pokemon leaves the battle. Eh, so it's like X attack. Oh, this is Kanala? She's the one who made the bridge, Canala's bridge. It's rather impressive that you get so close to Pokemon while they're firing attacks at you. Oh, I bet you're skilled at dodging. She's the carpenter. Huh. Bet you didn't know that secret Easter egg, huh? This place you're hoping to visit, you ought to stretch out your map and put a pin on. There's someone you want to go put a pin on your map for it. I heard that song before. Where the hell is Geodude Lady? Those darn bee doof. I heard you caught three different species of Pokemon in your trail. That's no mean feat. I have a job that's perfect for a high achiever like you. See, I need help researching. Oh, it's this pesky bee doof again. Oh, 
I look away for one second and a little scandal just walks right into the village. Oh, this is awful. I'm a complete failure as a member of the security corps. How can I face Captain Zisu like this? No, get a hold of yourself, Tsumugi. Let's just catch the B-Doof and everything will be fine. But still, three B-Doof is a lot. Two more than I think I can handle on my own, in fact. Oh, I have an idea. I've heard of these particular pests get easily distracted if other B-Doof are nearby and end up letting their guard down around humans. So if you bring a B-Doof to draw their attention, I can seize the chance to catch the little troublemakers. Voila, the perfect plan. If we combine forces, we'll get all three caught in no time at all. Add a B-Doof to your team to go find the bo bothersome B-Doof trouble in the village. Okay. This one's level 9. We'll use that one. And we don't need to do that. Actually, I do, but... He's a water type. Um... Oh. Yeah, let's put, we'll just put it back there for now. Shit. I'm getting rid of this Geo dude in a second anyway. How are things, my good friend? I certainly hope you're putting that secret back strike technique I taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you, and think nothing of it. Having the security core out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know? Supporting you now is actually an investment in our own fortunes. Now, most of the part, there are runes that are just calling to me. Now, there's so many cutscenes. This one spot. So if I press Y. Oh. Over there. Figure it out. Radisa? Oh, here you are. To give me a Geodude? Are you here to give me a Geodude? Yeah. She went to go with the Pokemon, yes. Oh my, would you look at that? It really does look like a rock. That seems to be the ideal way, too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Thank you, young man. With this Geodude's help, it surely has some scrumptious pickles. Dude. Now, how do I go back to that? That I was in. Let's see. Missions and requests.
Must be a photographer, photographer guy. First things first, we need to find where each of those pesky PDs waddled off to. Remember, they let their guard down as long as you have another PD with you. It's out here, I don't know. We'll see. Hmm, that marvelous rich tone. How's it produced? I must know. Er, hello, didn't see you there. Wait, you're the from the Survey Corps. Wonderful. Just the person I need. I want to learn more about Cricketot. You must be curious about them as well, right? I mean, how did they make those sounds of theirs? It's a mis musical mystery like no other. Hey, thanks for the follow, Mercy. Binks. Yo. I'd be in your debt if you could complete Cricketot's page in your Pokedex and show it to me. So I er I mean we could uncover the truth. How's it going? What's this guy looking at? Moral. If you want to learn my amazing recipe, oh yeah. I already talked to him. So how do I tell which bee deuce or which? We're just gonna have to catch them all, huh? Richie's last satchel, Annie's last satchel. There'd be something around here. Telling me to go here. Uh -huh. Oh, there's there's controller drift. Even though it's not even a, it's actually coded into the game. The controller drift is. Oh uh, no worries, bro. Pokemon Go is pretty fun. He's played that for a while. Where I live too, there's not a whole lot of Pokemon though, sadly. Tell me to go back now. Maybe I had to go somewhere else to do the beat quest. Maybe I'll just do the main quest. Eight hundred meters that way. It still was telling me to go from the other base camp though, so I should go from there. Last time I played was about two years ago probably. map I think 
Shiny Melton is temporarily available right now. That's pretty cool. I had some kind of shiny. I had a shiny Darkra. I got like the maps are kind of like Monster Hunter. Oh, you can change your Pokemon here. That's way better. for you code for Pogo just in case you ever want it later. Sounds good. Pokemon Go, gotcha. Richie's Lost Satchel. I know I had to uh, do something. Okay, I got it marked. Looking for an alpha Pokemon or something. I look through Stanley's here. Couple of plants. Not sure if these are angry or they get startled. Probably startled, right? All kinds of new moves. I think I have to put those on. He's got rollout now. I think I'll put that on. We do. He's fine. Thanks. He's fine. Oh, he's got Swift now. That's cool. Aerial Ace. There we go. And Fall Swift. I knew there was something else for him. Pretty cool he gets Aerial Ace. Uh, I forgot what's too bad. He might have something too. No, we're good. He's got bite now. So that's sick. Did the choke?
You should get like Agile style. Let's try to keep his guard up right away. Man. You don't want to fight? So if you're playing Pokemon Go, does that mean you're like walking around, watching the stream? Or you're doing like raids from your... Are you doing remote raids or something? That's the fight. Oh yeah, PvP, good. <laughs> I did that for a while, it was pretty fun. I had a Sky Marine and stuff for the low, low tiers. I forget what the meta was, it was like Sky Marine. Umbreon or something and something else. That's a lot of daily things I do. Gotcha. Is it a parasect? I think we found our Evan slump cat. Some cat here does Nuzlocke runs, and uh, he nicknames all of his uh, Pokemon after viewers. Oh my god, it's an alpha. <laughs> He's level 30, oh my god. There's no way, bro. Mistakes were made, run away. That's more like the Evan I wanted. Right there. Oh shit, we're in battle. Okay, hold on, I'll come back to this. The, the thing is not aggro to me. This is kind of like Sword and Shield. It's a Pikachu. That could be really useful, actually. Huh? 
Boom, level 11. Krikatoon mastered something, mastered a move. Let's see if I can sneak up on one of these parasects too. That is super sparkly. We gotta get it. Oh, it's a Star Raptor. Or Starly, or whatever it's called. Iron Chunk. Shinks can evolve, guys. Let's go. Do it. Luxio. Hopefully mine will have a Luxray. Let's bring this guy back to life more. He's gonna evolve soon too. This guy, like he's a trainer, but is he a trainer? Earl member. Have you ever come across a tree shaking and swaying? I suspect that's because Pokemon are up in the tree feasting on all the berries. Poor trees. Let's get some experience here. I wonder, is like a cricket tune different than a cricket top? when you have to do like uh, requests and stuff. Oh, I can check actually, can't I? No, I have to check during, before the fight. I think it's down on the keypad. Yo, Rohan. Not sure what that link is, but looks pretty malicious. <laughs> I wouldn't go clicking on that shit. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. With your links and stuffs. Let's see, I wonder what Pokemon's in that. What does that mean? Whoa, it's a 
D barrel. Well, level we'll C is he gonna tear my head off? They're actually different than bee dudes. So you have to catch a bunch of these too. Okay. Fight to the death. He's probably level 30. Oh no, he's level 16. You can actually catch him. Oh my god, he's got water pulse. Oh my god. Uh, under fire? Avoided the attack. Dude, he just tore Luxio's head off. And then, like, Matrix Duran my attack. Oh, his water pulse is gonna destroy me. I shouldn't do this. Mistakes were made. Tune. It's your chance. Driving styles tackle. Agile style. Uh -oh. Super effective. Tank to like champ though. Let's try aerial ace. Ooh, critical hit. Get the fuck out of there? I don't think so. We're capturing this B barrel. We gonna get that B barrel kinda. Go It's no good. Oh, my balls. We do. Last is fervor for using rollout. Go Pokeball. Trying to burst out, it's not good. Goon raged. His defensive stats are raised, his defensive stats are raised. Oh my god, it's gonna tear my head off. Water pulse, oh no. It's over. Be do. Weasel, it's your turn. You save us. Go, go, Pokeball. Come on. Oh, he's a god. Groom Rage is even more. Stats are even more raised. Agile style. Oh my god, speed is raised. Tackle. Oh my god. Tackle twice. He's so fast. We're so screwed. We're blacking out next turn. Zubat. Don't worry, Zubat got this. Pokeball, go! Come on! Fuck. It's no good! He's enraged even more! Zubat, no! Zubat! Ah, he was destroyed! Burn the fuck away! Guess what? I don't need any Pokemon. Ugh. Oh! My oh, body! <laughs> You're talking to an Elden Ring player. You ain't gonna get me. I don't think I can catch him though. Let's get out of here.
He's going stereo indeed, dude. Really escaped with their lives. I'm just gonna throw a paint to Pokemon out. Nothing. Can't you did. Okay, where's the base camp? I'm so screwed. Can't jump, I don't think. Trying to jump is not working. <laughs> oh my god, it's off the cricket too. Where's the base camp? I'm getting a ton of items at least. Oh my god, it's Abra. No, he's seen me. No. Press right stick, but I should press B. Okay, we'll find another one. Staravia? Whatever his name is. Alpha. Oh my god, get away from me. <laughs> get away from me. It's Abra, it's Abra. You little dick. And Drifloom. I just seen a Drifloom. You think I should get him? I'm definitely gonna come back here in a second. Windswept run. I think I have a base camp up here to your track. Oh, it's. Because I only have four Pokeballs. And a dude sees me fucking a mile away, too. Pokeballs. Yeah, we can make 11 more. That's pretty good. Well, I just wasted one. Now we have 14. <laughs> Wrong button, of course. Drifloon is a beast. Gotcha. Yeah, he's ghosts and flying, so that's pretty good. If you gotta have a flying type, you're gonna want one that's ghost. Because that sounds pretty sick. Does he have like a lot of. What type of kind of stats does he have? Is it like a lot of HP? Shit, I guess not pressing that button. Immense HP, so he's a tank. A 
ghost bird tank. I like the sound of that. Decent attack, special attack, and speed. That's pretty cool. Got everything rested up. My cow ran all the way back. We know where Abra is now, though. Because we can have Abra, Drifloom, Cyntaquil, and uh, Luxray. It's not a bad start. Let's go windswept run, which is down here. Okay. Should be up here any second now. somewhere I think is that drifting? no the flower there's Abra he disappeared Kidding me, dude. I'm gonna tear your head off. Weasel. Scared that I brought. Sadly. I wonder if the alphas are like stronger. They have different moves. Just run back and forth here to see if we can find one. Dude, I know that scene that drifts in. Take on this star Epia. Level 32. Double edge. Oh god. But yeah, we're getting the fuck out of here. 
It's Drifloom. No, it's not Drifloom. It might have been a flower I saw, but I swear to God it was like moving and it disappeared after it went so far. You've seen it too, right? That's a flower. The crooked doing that. Thirty Viper Beam. Oh, my God, he just reduced it to build ashes. Oh my god, that was horrible. It's... Or since will never like uh, be the same. back to this area. I need to get an Abra too. Or should I? Should I just go back? Wait, let's go back. Because I don't want to run all the way back here. Oh, it's an actual B-Barrel. Not an Alpha. so hard to catch. What? There ain't no way, bro. There ain't no way. Damn it. Get the uh, through the cricket too now by accident. Danny, Danny, Danica. Danny, no. Oh, I see another Danny. Time. You're talking to Power World Master. Yeah. You my belly, Danny. Let's go. <laughs> now we just gotta find an imaginary gear flu machine.
They were right next to each other. That's fucking OP. back here after the mission well probably not actually we'll just find them somewhere else if they are here they're extremely rare <laughs> maybe you have to come here at night time that would make sense They should be traveling around at night anyway. They do look a lot like Drifloon. Doing his war cry run. It's like a slide whistle. Yo, how's it going, Aorta Sink? Just chilling. It's your all time po favorite Pokemon game. It's my first time playing. It's pretty fun so far. Aorta, the largest artery in the human body. Some cat. Hell yeah. Oh, I gotta go all the way over there. Feels bad, man. <laughs> That's pretty cool, uh, emote. Hey, thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Enjoy the mic quality, good stuff, dude. Thanks, I appreciate it. It's hard to get good quality. <laughs> Be honest. Oh, it's an alpha B barrel. It's tough, man, especially audio stuff. Lots of tweaking and adjusting between games. Yeah, I've been using um, uh, Steel Series Sonar, and you can like, it's got a little slider, and you can go like to the left or the right, and the left is, uh, you'll hear the game more, and the right is you'll hear the person talking more. And then you got like a, what are they called, a mixer, right? And each one is like, uh, one will be the game, one will be the media. Oh, nice in-house mixer type thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. They made it for their headsets, but it works for any headset or any microphone. I need to catch me one of these side ducks. Oh, that was a Pokemon. Well. It also has AI noise reduction and stuff like that, so it's really nice. Some competition with NVIDIA broadcast. <clears throat> yeah, I use, um, I use the Sonar AI because it's less GPU, it's more CPU, and I also run uh, the video broadcast on my webcam because I don't have a green screen, 
Für das Kopfmehl. I only just started streaming like uh, since January, really. Nice. That's great. We're so close to our... I don't even know what we're doing now. I think we're looking for an alpha or something. No, we're looking for Cleaver. I'm following too many females. Slap my ass. It's hard to find a male playing Pokemon. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, I guess there's not a whole lot of people playing Pokemon on stream. Unless it's competitive Pokemon. There's also... Um... Slumpcat here, he streams Pokemon sometimes. He did a Nuzlocke run recently, it was really cool. I am Leon of the Pearl Clan. The Warden to Cleavar. Ward Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleavor. I'm right, aren't I? What do you normally stream? Do you have a schedule? Uh, I stream every day. The uh, schedule changes, but uh, it'll usually be in the evening. Uh, around, I have a weird time zone, so I guess it'll be around uh, 4 o'clock Eastern type of deal. And um, I stream a lot like whatever's the newest thing that people are playing that I get my hands on. I also stream like uh, Ghost of Tsushima, Elden Ring. I, I've done those already, but those are some examples of things I've done. What time zone are you in? I'm in a time zone called Newfoundland Standard Time. <laughs> it's a half hour off Eastern. Of course I am, I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more po awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lighting the other day was Almighty Sinas Divine Power. Newfoundland Standard Time, yep. <laughs> but whatever it was, it might it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. Because we're an island, I live on an island that's off the coast. And uh it's a half hour time zone because it's not actually a full time zone away. And it's pretty rare in North America because there's not a whole lot of islands. But if you went somewhere like Australia or Asia, there's a bunch of islands and apparently there's like 20 time zones that are like 30 minutes over there. So when you say you have a 30 minute time zone, yeah, people don't really don't really know what, what you're talking about, right? You're like, well, a time zone can be 30. So it's pretty interesting. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. I'll do anything. Oh, such earnest desire to meet mighty Cleaver. I have to admit, I'm struck by your passion. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Rydia that I am to let no one near Cleavor. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can, or face the wrath of my Gumi. I'll take you on. I don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. Or you don't even realize how sad you are. Go Gumi and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Face the wrath of my Gumi! So intimidating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True that, Aorta. Oh. Oh, that's his Gumi. <laughs> He's probably gonna kill my Cricket too, though. Uh, let's try here, at least. 
there next, but your tune's dead, though. Let's swap, let's swap. We're going, uh... Weasel, I guess. He's dragon, isn't he? Ah, legit. So silly, yeah. <laughs> Acid spray. You defeated Gumi. Battle decided. Gumi got stomped. I shouldn't boot this on. How can this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous, too dangerous to meet Cleavor now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offer, offering a nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. Is usually enough to please him and soothe the prickly prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get enough close enough to give any offerings now. Not without the way Cleavor is rampaging and running amok. At least Leon is persistent. True that. <laughs> There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestor of Cleavor, Weirder, and her cohort drew on Almighty Sinaso in power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it's said. It's by their grace and that our clan that meant any of us still lives in Vastus Woy today. That any of us still lives in Vastus Woy today. Iridia, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver's grown, grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was intended, indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolt have been sent by the false Sinath that the demon clan bows to? Cleaver means so much to our clan. I would hope, hoped we could bring this situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleavor from the frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy Team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix us all? Fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell a lord's frenzy? I'll figure something there. <laughs> Very well. Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleavor in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy even if you must search every corner of vast Hisoi. Or Hosui. Your iPhone is beeping. A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in instant. Oh, wish I had that earlier. Press the X button when consulting the map on your iPhone to instantly travel to base camps and other locations. However, be aware that this feature might not be usable in some situations. Makes sense. Wait. What's my current mission? Head to base camp, report what you learned. Okay. This base camp, though. Get controller drift. On an Xbox controller, like what's going on? Built into the code. Good to see you, Sim. And how's your research into Cleaver's going? How's your research into Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect. Oh, is that so? Yeah, I'm emulating. Now that's quite the tidbit. So, a serving of his favorite foods will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable. Is that it? 
Nice. What are you using for it? Ah, uh, Ryujix. I need to mull over back to the laboratory. You should come back to my dear boy. I don't know if you can see that. You should come along too, my dear boy. Ooh, Stantlers. Gotta put those. So we got a Pikachu. Abra. Not bad. I need to do the same. My Switch is collecting dust and I don't care to plug it in. It's actually pretty nice because you can turn up like the graphics up to 2K and stuff. <clears throat> it still runs at like 30 FPS though. But it's, it's quite convenient, for sure. So according to the information you were able to learn from Iridia and Lian of the Pearl Clan, where this, the normal course of events that Frenzy Cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas of such of some other components of these foods might combine in a way that would could not only calm Cleavor but draw him back from this frenzy? Upon your own report, even Cleavor's warden, who looks after Cleavor and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. I'll need to look into this, thanks. Yeah, no problem, dude. Hope it helps. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give give me a moment. If you would, I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. I tell you, your computer can hold a lot more games on it too than the Switch can. <laughs> it's pretty simple. You just, uh, you can download the file from the internet, the game, and then you just download Ryujix and load the file. You can also download it already done for you, because you need, for Ryujix to work, you need to put, uh, firmware in, on it. So you might have to install firmware and then, like, click on it. And tell it, like, you tell Ryujix, this is the firmware you need. And then it installs it, and then you can play. There's definitely a YouTube tutorial, like two or three minute one, that'll help you. You quit the iron for throwing things, haven't you, Sin? There's also a way you can, like, um, you can buy this thing, and you can, like, make virtual cards, too. I never got into all that, though. Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Makes sense. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved food into balls and throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. Brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what I, to call these yummy projectiles, well, how they're tea time balls. Puts one in mind of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, doesn't that? Why wouldn't you simply call them Lavin Laventon balls, Professor? Oh my, with that name, I'd sound like I'm the one being launched at our frenzied friend. <laughs> in any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Then you should come get back to the Grand Tree Arena and let the Pearl Clan know our plan. Pearl Clan. If you're off to the Grand Tree Arena, best set out from the Heights Camp, eh? Oh, what the hell? They got an Ashbot living in the corner? Where's the other one I didn't take? Oh, there he is, Rowlet. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing Cyntaquil would have been right here. I don't need more space right now. I bought a bunch last time. Work with Leon and Ridia to make tea time balls for Cleaver's favorite foods. Okay.
Well, where is it? Here. What she got to say now? My, my, that galaxy hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters, I'll give them that. You order a beer back, okay, right, man. No problem. Oh, yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to, what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? I spoke to Weird Deer about what's going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field lands, seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of a clan, of our clan or the Burr clan. Just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Weird Deer's found you worthy, you see? Which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating him, my? This is very important, so listen well. What's that sound? That's definitely a Zelda sound. Weird. That's a celestial flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on weird ears so you can ride upon them. It's said that celestial flutes were gifts from the Almighty Sinath itself, and now this one's yours. A flute that can be used to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around the region. Its timbre is eerie and mysterious. It's not that. A it's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play a flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. Must be getting a man cuts. <laughs> Such a weird noise. Weird Deer opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. So is he the evolved form, Stantler? You received the mind plate from Weird Deer. A stone tablet imbued from the essence of psychic energy when used on certain Pokemon allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the psychic type. Use the Celestial Flute wisely and gallop across the land with the great Weird Deer. You've got a frenzied Pokemon to quell the Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Weird Deer, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. Now you can call Weird Deer and Gal Crest Man. Hell yeah. Riding on Pokemon. Press the plus button to summon Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to stay alert for wild Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from play high places while you're riding about. I forgot to put Abra on my team. I should do that now. Put Abra here. Get rid of B Doof. We'll take this stand there and replace Weasel. I don't know about this Evan. This Evan. Um, I think I'd rather Jeff than Evan. I don't know though. Tough call. Pikachu is not bad for a little bit. 
Oh, he's got water pulse. All right, we're using him. Nice to meet you, young Survey Corps recruit. I hear you had the rare ability to dash over hill and fail on the back of the Pokemon, yes? Well, not try... Well, why not try your hand at the balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. It's simple, really. You just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. You managed to burst, say, 17 balloons? Well, that'd be an impressive start. You can find me here at any time, so let me know whenever you feel like testing your skill in the balloon race. Okay, so space. Ooh. Jump and dash. So Y is jump. B is dash. Okay. Way better. We're flying now, boys. Sight there, holy shit. Did I not put Abra on my team? Wait, let me see. No, I present the team. Who knows? Perfect. Who drives he, but he's not asleep? What the hell? When did hypnosis kind of turn the yard? Strong style. He's immune to sleep. He's a god. Swipe, I guess. Oh, he's fast. Let's go side up. Now the real question is how do I evolve Scyther in this game? Oh, he escaped. He's enraged. Uh oh. This is already not good. Go, 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 Pokeball, save my ass. Beautiful. Scyther sigh. So you say Galaxy came up with a method to try and quell Lord Clever's Fever's Frenzy? 
What? You'll mash up Clever's favorite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at them? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach, you galaxy people. Your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means my, we might provide Cleaver with his offerings. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I brought them. As promised. God, that's right. My apologies, Iridia. I'd forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to Galaxy Team. Okay, I had to put my nasty kids to sleep. <laughs> no worries. But even I still have my doubts about whether we still we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These Galaxy Team people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs, but on our on my side I have Pokemon as close to me as my sister as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Cleaver's fate. Will you battle us? Yes. Then allow Glaceon's true strength to chill you to your depths. <laughs> it's actually a little intimidating at this point. Glaceon is pretty strong. And I don't have very much going for me right now. I just caught that side up. I kind of figured he was going to die. Abra's useless. Um, let's use some clue. Hopefully he survives this and levels up. Oh yeah, I got the burn. We're swapping. Let's see if Luxio can survive. Sweet. Ugh. Can I outspeed him though? Let's go. Yeah. It's bad, Glaceon. Get wrecked. Since Quill 16, move mastered. Can he evolve now? I see now Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand that Pokemon that you've caught. And you treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see to your Pokemon's wounds. Oh, thank God. Now I explain them to Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So, because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you've developed soothing bombs of sorts to calm our lord. Very well. If it'll keep, if it'll help soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make these bombs with their very hearts and souls. Oh, don't know. Ah, a veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver, if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. I'm ready. As my oh mighty cleaver lord of the woods though it isn't yet the time of ceremony we've prepared an offering of your favorite things benevolent lord who works his might between the heavens and earth we offer our gratitude and beseech you reveal yourself to our eyes listen well sin keep your focus on cleaver Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Okay. Grasha. <laughs> I don't even know what this looks like. I think I do. But I'm not sure. Whoa. 
things on fire. Oh yeah, that's my kind of Pokemon. Lure the woods, Cleavor. To claim victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send your Pokemon to battle against it. When the Pokemon battle, the Noble's Guard will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs will be more effective than usual, so throw as many as you can. <clears throat> so, we, okay, win the battle and his guard will stay down. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was close. I think he hit me though. Here's your chance, show Cleaver your power. Can I hit the dots? Drew drives you. Echo Hypnosis is putting things to sleep. You avoided the attack, bomb screw. <laughs> Critical hit aerial aids, my god. What type of Pokemon is this? I'm gonna guess he's either Bug or Steel. So I'm gonna try Fire Fang. Splinter's Bug and Luxio. Stealth Rock, dude. Maybe he's a rock type. We're gonna go with some water. Oh, yeah, it's fed him. Massive. Put this guard down, that's your chance. Can I catch him? I press B is the one. Alright, let's try this again. I think I have to bring his health down past a certain point before I can throw a Pokeball out. Oh 
my god. I forgot what area it is. I should have used Agile. I guess it didn't matter on the first anyway. right away. Not good. He's only got teleport. Oh. Luxio can use ice. Close to beating him. I got a trick up my sleeve. I just all go. Two guys got all that. Oh, Abra can evolve. Huge. You received the insect plate from Cleavor. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of bugs. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the bug type. I don't really know what that means. Well, what happens? Some kind of light erupted from Cleavor's body. Has Lord Cleavor's frenziness my frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleavor's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, this is what I think. After all, we've seen. We know strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleavor and driven him into a frenzy after all. <laughs> the lightning came from the space-time rift. But if Almighty Sinath really does dwell beyond that space-time rift, then the strange lightning, it indeed was an Almighty Sinath power, then where, were we even right to try and interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keep keeping the Thrall Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might try to harm us. Would power sent by the truly almighty Sinath be driven Lever to turn us turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What's sin accomplished right now? It it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm, yes, it's fine. I suppose I must concur. 
I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I, I am grateful for what you've done, my for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. I consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier and a token of my thanks. Oh, something good. Three citrus berries. Restore your HP by up to half of its max. That's not too bad. Let me care for your Pokemon as well and appreciate you for fighting on our behalf. I think I've finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. Though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. And it seems we've settled things here, though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. Okay, wait. We got some stuff to do here. I'm surprised Synthquil can't evolve. We're gonna evolve Abra here. Get that bra. Got the idea for a new move. Thank God, cause you never had any moves. Hypnosis and calm mind, nice. Yes. And then, what does this do? A stone tablet built with the essence of psychic energy. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of psychic energy. I wonder which Pokemon that is. Maybe I can talk to this thing? No. Swim in this game? Sorry. <laughs> Drowned. Still watching the stream just playing Final Fantasy XIV 16. Um I just fought Cleo and beat him. I'm just wondering if I can catch him somehow. Cause he looks like he's really good. Also, I just caught sight there. I figured you were doing dungeons, yeah. Yeah, and Kadabra. It's got Kadabra. So I'm gonna have Kadabra, Scyther, Synthquill. I don't know who else yet. But, uh, my headset just died, and I'm gonna take a little break. So use the bathroom and stretch and get a drink and stuff. And then I'll give my headset like five minutes to charge. And it should be good again for like another hour or two. So I'll be right back in a second, guys.
I'm back guys, I'm just going to let it charge up a little bit more. I've been uh, just looking at some other streamers here. There's one guy, There's I just noticed there's like a lot of people playing Tyrus Land. It's another free, to, it's a free to play MMO that recently came out. There's a lot of big streamers playing that I don't know if they're getting sponsors for it or if it's actually a like good game or not. All right, let's see how long this lasts now. Look at that. Literally built into the game, bro. hilarious um how do we get back right here yes <laughs> I only caught a sight there Debra. Slump Cat, do you know if you can evolve Scyther in this game? Without trading? I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what do you have there? Could it be? Ah, those are two of the fabled plates of old. Please, let me have a look. I see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see, this one says, Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. You can? Yeah? Sweet. You need a metal coat. Okay. Seems to be a phrase from an old, very old myth. How did you come across these? There was another question I had too, and I can't remember what it is now. They'll come back to me though. I see, so... Oh! Stantler! How does he evolve? Or it is Weirdir just a different version of Stantler? Or does he evolve into Weirdir? I see you were given these plates when you were impressed Weirdier and Cleavor. That's quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you need to find more plates like these scattered across this way. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something. Absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past, oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. Hmm. With this game, I should almost be on this this side because you can't see my Pokeball by now.
Let me just see the requirements for weird ear. Weird ear Pokemon. I think he's different. No? He evolves. How do you evolve him though? Use Psy Shield Bash 20 times in Agile style. I wonder when he learned Cybash. Oh, it's not her I gotta talk to. <laughs> her, well done. I've already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Clever's frenzy. Restoring peace of mind to his voice people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. I have received word that there are other Pokemon, nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere. In his way. So carry on with your research and survey duties and prove that you truly are an asset to us. That is all you are dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. I was going to say potato moochie. Hmm, Benny Old Chum. Usual order. Three servings of potato moochie, please. Oh, if there's anything else you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend here, you know. He's got quite some luck to have. He's got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off against Cleavor. I dare say Sin was well prepared, and he was a quick study of how Cleavor moved in battle from what I heard. All in all, it was a very good show, a victory well earned. We can feel safer going about our Survey Corps duties now, thanks to your efforts. Oh, by the way, why not try crafting some of these? I made recipe based on directions Benny gave me. Wait, I gotta see if you can catch Cleavor. Oh, in order to evolve your Scyther into Cleavor, you will need an item not sold by the village trade vendor. The item is called Obsidian. 
Obsidian in French. Not sure what the English name, but I read the other threads of people call it Black Agurite. To get this famous Black Agurite, you will have to defeat Graveler's Fan in the Mount Cornet Zone. This is the only way to be able to obtain this item. Kill Gravelers, eh? Alright, we're gonna have to level up this Scyther and turn him into a Cleavor. Lovely, now we don't have to worry about being clawed by Cleavor. Let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Obsidian Field Lance their home. Sin. I've been waiting for you, Sin. My name is Vesa. There's something really important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? <laughs> um, this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. The Swede is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, I, the being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate, so please, then, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Just tell me what to do. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you'll believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. This odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. He obtains an Odd Keystone. Odd Keystone, a mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps that glow with an eerie purple light. After the seal is broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across his hui. 107 of them in total. But the Odd Keystone I gave you, you will be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the Odd Keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? See that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. Wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone, just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help from finding a remaining wisp. And one last thing, as you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you some rewards as thanks. I'll wait for you while you carry out your search. Good luck. Eerie apparitions in the night. The next day. Wow, the Galaxy hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Oh, hey, you're Sin, the boy who quelled quell Cleaver, aren't you? Bumpcat, he looks familiar, isn't he? Like from, uh, he must have an ancestor, or he must be the ancestor of someone from Pearl and Diamond. That's me. I knew it, you got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of Al Almighty Sinas' chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. 
I'm Arizu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Oh, snip. Ha! <laughs> but I came here to talk to you. To your Mr. Kamado. See you, Ran. She says, oh, snip, instead of oh, snap, because she's a hairdresser. You're there, a valued customer. Would you rather I had more wares for you to choose from? It'd be nice. That it would, unfortunately. Toahua refuses to provide me with any new goods to offer. He won't listen to a word I say, so would you try to persuade him for me? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring him some hardy grains as a token of goodwill. Two or three stacks out to do it, but I'd make it three to play, play it safe. Let's see what's going on in here. Hmm, so it's come to Ursaluna as well. This suggests that even Pokemon that are not nobles can become frenzied. I have received no word from Admin or Iridia, but this is not something we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my, my thanks, Miss Aresia. You did very well to inform us of Ursaluna's situation. No problem. Admin's got his hands full of running our clan and all. And Ursaluna's warden wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the Galaxy team are the only ones I can turn to about this. Ursaluna's warden is Mistress Kalaba of the Pearl Clan, isn't that? Mistress Kalaba. She's the one who made the bridge, isn't she? Of all the wardens, she is the most narrow minded, ahem, <clears throat> banned by tradition. She likely does not take kindly to outsiders meddling in her affairs. I have a new mission for you, Sin. I order you to study Ursaluna in the Crimson Mirelands. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. Next area will be sent to investigate is the Crimson Mirelands. You will find the Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Even the landscape itself is harsher with steep ravines and seaside cliffs. It is not welcoming. You must be a, a second star to face the Marlands. Complete research tasks to fill in the Pokedex if you hope to move up in the ranks. To do so by catching Pokemon and conducting your survey work in areas you currently have access to. Alright, we're going to have to go back and level up, boys. That's alright, because I'm going to take you at my and stuff there. I was going to check it with downstairs, but I don't really care right now. <laughs> Be honest with you. So many side quests. Alright, alright, I'll get him. Hey sport, interest you in a target practice? All you have to do is lob some balls and try to pop some balloons. Easy peasy, fun and breezy. Even if you got some fine prizes lined up to give out. Depending on how well you do. If you manage to break 10,000 points, you'll be in for a real treat, I can tell you that. If you're up for a challenge, let me know. I usually I'm usually to be found in the practice field. I 
cleaning never stops around here. I the cleaning. Oh, you're the boy from the survey course, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Did I ask you to fetch a plant for me? I need to use it to make some medicine. Plant them after it's three leaves and taste bitter enough to make you dizzy. Unfortunately, I don't know where it comes or where it grows. Try asking a niece from the medical corps. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. Oh my god, there's so many. Hey listen, I saw something up there in the walls. Oh, it was so incredible. Go again. The thing I saw was a will-o'-the-wisp, a ball of bright red fire. When I was walking in the windswept room the other night, it leapt out at me like, ooh. See, windswept run, dude. There is something there. Add it again with the story, huh? Don't listen to her, mister. My big sis always gets carried away with her fairy tales. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm not making it up. I saw that will to the wisp with my own two eyes. Oh yeah? Then why don't you show it to me? Huh? Good luck with that. I saw it with my own two eyes, too. It's so frustrating. He won't believe me. I honestly did see one. Say, you're the sur you're with the survey corps, right? I hear you're quite the prodigy. I bet you could easily catch a will to the wisp. Do you think you could catch the one I saw and bring it back here? Oh yeah, I can. Oh look, all my pals are actually, or all my Pokemon are actually in there. Okay, we're gonna replace Cricketune with... I don't even know. Do you do? Pretty good team, pretty solid team. Stantler is a little bad, but he'll evolve. There's a request over here. Two requests. Find between people and Pokemon. Oh my, you. You know, you remind me somehow of my grandmother. She was always so friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel that same aura from you, as if you could become a true friend with the Pokemon. I'd be interested to see how friendly you are with your Pokemon you carry with you. I hope you come sometime. It comes to show me sometime. Oh, hey, sir, big guy. Know what you need to do to be a super awesome member of the Galaxy team? Be wicked smart. Nope. I mean, I guess that's also important, but you need to have a partner Pokemon. With the great partner Pokemon backing up, you'll be the strongest to 100 people. I really want to catch a Pokemon on my own someday, so I've been throwing balls to get my aim spot on. Now I think I'm ready to practice with real Pokeballs. I bet you have loads of them, since you're in Survey Corps and all. Do you think you give me just five of your Pokeballs, please? Yeah, sure. Woohoo, now I can catch partner Pokemon on my own. Here's a reward just for you. Some grit dust. It was super hard to collect, so I hope you like it. If you want to know more about what it does, you can ask Captain Sizu. She knows all about it. I do need to know about that. Anyway. I'm going to practice those with the Pokeballs you gave me. If you find a Pokeball, that'd be a great pattern for me. Let me know so I can go and catch it. I got a Wurmple for you. They say hunger is the best seasoning, but I'd rather rely on the quality of my soot boot roots to make my potato moochie tasty. Um, I do need more Pokeballs. 
Hello there, Survey Corps recruit. Did you need something from me? I got a question. What do you need to know? No, I got a question about exchange items. Great gravel. You don't explain it at all. Uh, new moves. Let's see if we can teach Scyther a new move. Oh yeah, he's got lots of moves. What the hell? Rest, Calm, Mind, Focus, Energy, Omnius, Wind, Swift, Rock, Smash, and False Foot. We can, do a, we can definitely do False Foot. Omnius Wind, I don't know about that. Rock Smash could be good. Against uh, rock types. I'll give that to him. Change moves there. Silver win. Oh. He's actually really, really good. Something I could do in here too. Did I forget about it? Talk to her. Oh. That's just my mission to get stronger, right? Field. Mr. Request on the farm. Okay. Hey, you're in Survey Corps, ain't ya? Just the fella I was looking for. I'm working to make these ear fields bigger. But the ground sure is hard to plow, so I'm looking for someone to lend me a hand. More fields means more food, which means everyone's happy, including the Survey Corps. We're all in this together after all, right? So, if you have a ground type Pokemon, can I borrow it? I got this Geodude you can have. I'll be sure to make expand the fields or something. Wowie, it's turning this gritty old soil after soft and fluffy like it's nothing. How's it doing that? That seems like we're done here with a trooper. That's some fine work. Any crops we plant here will do great. And it's all thanks to you two. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field work a little while longer. Just give it a holler if you want to swap in a different Pokemon to be our plowing partner. More fields available for farming. Who's the reward? That's pretty cool. Not sure what the point of farming is, but... 
I guess you can grow berries or something. We need to go to the Windward place, right? Windward Brown, I believe it's called. Jesus, if I could make uh, some Pokeballs, that would be alright too. I got like none. Not good. Maybe if I talk to the guard guy, he'll sell me some. Do some shopping. You were pretty expensive. Yo, dudes. Windswept Brown is to our east. Oh, I was supposed to come here at night time. Let's go here at night time. Where am I targeted by? So we can level up here. Get the Sentacle level, uh, evolved. Oh my god, there's two of them. Breeze of them. 
Speed Weasel down. Can we heal up? Uh, need super, which is right going on. Good enough. I bet Scyther is like extremely powerful at this level. Scyther is the ultimate bug counter. Let's head on over to... Uh, somewhere else. Come on, Pokemon. Whoa, it's an Alpha Abra. What the hell? It's level 26. Use teleport. How are you supposed to catch that thing? Thunderfang. 
can evolve. Centaquil's gonna evolve, baby. Finally, do it. Lava. Do the different moves now. No. Cool. Exactly what it is. Oh, he ran away. Let's make it spot the level. It's level 15. Critical hit was burned. Oh, yeah. Catch one of these star rabies. That was a little 17. What the hell? Oh my god. Best rest of your Kui Lava. HP restored. I avoided the sleep. I heard the attack in my sleep. He's already. No, he's too drowsy to know. Oh, he's down. Lexio. Oh, 
boy. I did. Ball of mud. Let's get out of here. Skills, I don't know. Oi. Oh, he's right. I'm going to catch that guy. That's it, you can't do that. Oh, I got grit dust for catching him. Oh, it's an Alpha Geo dude. Oh my god. How could you do that to me, Geo dude? The Alpha Geo dude spilled wild night. Little 27. Iron defense. Oh. oh my god, that's so much damage. I'm gonna sacrifice Scythe and use falsely. Oh, I'm so useless. Open sleep now. Too drowsy to move. So please don't kill him. Rock slide. It's gonna be super effective. No, it wasn't super effective. Pokeball. Oh yeah, we got an Alpha Geo dude. Very nice. Level 27. Agile style, and that lowered the attack power of it. Yep. Perfect. Now! Oak ball out. That's it. Pat Cricket Tune.
think I should go back and rest up my guys. I'm being targeted. Yeah, that's better. I guess that all I need to see. Weasel, we need to get rid of Weasel. Uh, switch Weasel out for... Alpha Geodude. Bulldoze, Rock Slide, Stealth Rock, and Iron Defense. Hell yeah. My kind of cheap. You'll turn to a Graveler soon, sure. I don't even know if I can use him. Geodude versus Geodude. Bulldoze. Oh, he turned away so he doesn't listen to me. Just open around. If you die, do you do? You don't listen to me. You won't obey. <laughs> Looks like you're getting mud slapped. Alright, if you listen to me, you're gonna die. Jojo turned away. Pretend you're not to notice. I guess you know, he'll never listen to me. There, he did. Brought it on himself, really. Confusion. Just fall asleep and catch these things. So let's use false wipe. Another false wipe. Too bad. Let's 
606 cat number cat during daylight hours one out of one number you've caught with you defeat it with water type moves number you defeat it with grass type moves. times you've seen it used roll out and not throw Scyther at him, but he would fall asleep. Ran away, damn. Six. Wonder where the bad bee deuce went. Hmm. Jinx is what I should be catching because that's what I want to actually power up. What dog? All right, I see how it is. You want to fight? Level two? Hell oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh my god. Didn't even kill him. He's level two. He's gonna kill me if I'm not careful. See, you got shanks. Seven or twelve. Eight out of twelve. Well, that was a heavy one. Let's uh, head back and see. Actually, we'll talk to the professor and see what he says. <laughs> 16 Pokemon. Thirty-two hundred gold. Nice. Well, it seems you made some new observations. Have looked and mm -hmm, see most illuminating. I'll update our Pokédex with this new data.
Oh yeah. We're a two star now. Splendid first results. I dare say you've earned yourself promotion to the next rank. Best report to Captain Celine, eh? I'd get right to on that if I were you. So what would you like to do now? Turn to the village. Right out to the security court escorting us. It'll be nice. Safe trip back to Jubilee. Jubilee. Tubi life, tubi life. Yes, have you made progress on your research tasks? If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokédex. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of second star in the Galact Galaxy Expedition. You can now use Feather Balls. Pokemon of up to 30 will also obey your orders rather than lively in battle, and the rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Crafting recipe for Feather Balls. Apricot and Sky Thumblestone. Contain the recipe for crafting super potions, one potion and one pepper plant. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Mokedex if you hope to raise higher in the ranks. At the current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Marlands on your own. Here's what you need to know. Your destination is a place within the Marlands known as the Silesian Runes. That is where you'll find Ursaluna's Warden. What's going on over here? Oh, hello, Sin. I was just getting the itch to battle with you, and now here you are. Must be signed. You're right. Let's have a fine battle so I can get closer with Pikachu. To record Akari challenge you to battle. Akari sent out Mime Jr. Oh, sight there. Let's do silver wind. Oh, 75% south. Defensive stats are raised. Defensive stats are raised. Agile style. Use hypnosis. Sight there grew drowsy. Closing this. Mime Jr. tried to use something to avoid the attack. Silver Rain. Mime Jr. is down. Pikachu is next. Use Thunder Shock right away. Paralyzed, half my health. Drive style. Silver wind. Ooh, one shot. Battle decided. Oops, I keep finding myself caught up in observing the way a Pokemon user moves. Oh, Geodude can evolve. 
Pikachu may not be very happy with me after all. After that, thank you for battling with me. Here, have this new recipe. Ten recipe for crafting stealth sprays. I worked on studying these strange space-time distortions. Do you know the ones I mean? They've been appearing here and there lately. It seems they hold wonderful items, but frightfully strong Pokemon too. If you plan to go into one, be careful about it. Now, time to head into Marlin's camp. We're leveling. I mean, evolving. Geodude. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Tanky sail, man. Congratulations, you're due to evolve to a graveler. Stealth rock. Iron defense rock slot. Mud slab tackle roller. Hmm. Leave it like it is. I think it's time to build Jarvis. Stay safe, for dear kid. To the Marlins camp. And with that, I'll be right back. Gonna make a copy. Poison wielding Pokemon, Slump Cat.
All right, I'm back. And plenty of others, others, otherwise. I've heard about your mission soon. You're looking for Slicyon runes? They're off that way. Keep searching for those space-time distortions. There's a little way of knowing when or where one of one might appear, but I'll do my best. It sure would be handy if my map could tell me. Space-time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokemon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find Pokemon, rare Pokemon, and items inside. That's pretty cool. I can I invite you to carry out your survey work as best you can, but be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? If wild Pokemon are giving you trouble, I suggest you go to your training grounds and have Captain Sizu teach your Pokemon some strong moves. Uh, she might be able to teach me my grabble or something really good, actually. Is that Bidu? Got grass is gonna kick gravel's ass. I realized, just realized. Bug's good against grass, right? Wait, what the hell? Oh. I did it wrong. <laughs> Ember. Ember. We can level up uh, Kui Lava here. A lot easier than the other places. Cat B do unawares. He screwed them. All super effective boom. Caster fern. You don't have space in your satchel? No way. Oh, it's a carnivern. Whatever they're called. Carnivine. Try to catch him if I don't kill him. Acid spray. Do a quick attack. Perfect. Now, if he doesn't pinch me off, like where I catch him, that would be great. If I can even catch him, I only have two Pokeballs. Cut kind of uh... Oh yeah. Big levels. There's a guard here. Dodging is everything. Everything. When a wild Pokemon lashing out at you with its moves, you dodge right out of the way. While you're dodging, their moves will whiz right by and I hate you. Well, it's a trainer. I am Kalaba of the Pearl Clan. Warden Kalaba to you. 
Oh, now you will look at that. You have a celest celestial flute. You must be one that fell out of the space-time rift. That's right. I see, I see. I've already heard about you, that you quelled Cle Cleaver in his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. Why did you handle... What did you... What you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon sub submission after all. And when you run about catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry. I don't need any help from your sort, or the Diamond Clan for that matter. That young lady, Rizu, offered to help. But associating with the Diamond Clan, I just won't do it. Be on your way. There is much to do, and I prefer not to be distracted any further. Sad face. Ah, Sin, how about you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord? Gladly. Battle with you might experience even fraction of the power of the noble's wield. Wait, battle with you might let me experience even a fraction of the power of the noble's wield. Famous last words. Ginkgo Guild member Volo challenge you to battle. Sent to Togepi. Go Lava. Battle. Fight. Aerial Ace. Togepi's Draining Kiss, not very effective. Togepi has HP restored. I'm gonna use Ember. He's gonna call back Togepi. That's interesting. For Ghibli. Uh, I get to change my move. That's pretty cool. We'll use Aerial Ace here. He's half health. He's using Bulldoze. That's not good. Quilab is dead. We're gonna have to switch out. Um, Oh man, Grand is good against like everything I got. Let's use Kadabra. He's fast. He's fast and... He has Agile style. Confusion. Oh. Strong style. Bulldoze. He's got one HP. And he just one hit KO'd me. Oh, bulldoze, strong style. Can't say they're pulling out. For the win. Well, I can't miss with Aerial Ace, so let's use that. Boom. Still got Togepi. Use draining kiss. Oh my god, heal the cap cell. We're gonna use strong cell, silver wind. Agile style, draining kiss. Oh my god, Togepi's a monster. Oh, he went twice. Whoa. We're gonna stop the Stoke Penis tracks with Graveler. Graveler. First things first. Strong style iron defense. I wonder what that does. Defensive stats are raised. His offensive stats and defensive stats are raised. Rock slide. Let's go. Boom, half his health. Green kiss. I almost have my health. 
But he healed half of his. Let's do a strong style stealth rock. Splinter Doug and Togepi. He's still draining me, dude. Oh, but he took more damage from moving. We're gonna use a rock slide to finish this. Boom. Stealth rock for the win. Battle decided. Oh my, you're quite an adept at instructing your Pokemon in battle. Oh my goodness, that was fun. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. <laughs> Such prodigy strength. Now, let me just heal up your Pokemon. Well now, I think that settles it. I must ask your help in retrieving the stolen wall fragment with your skill. It should be a clinch. Wall fragment? Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the Celestian runes made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. Have you not heard of the notorious misfortunes? There are a trio of bandits that have even hit us Ginkgo Guild merchants more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have. Let me tell you. Mistress Calaba is doing everything she can to regain the fragment, but at 99 years old, it's a bit hard for her to chase leads all over the place. I bet. He's old as hell. So what do you say, kind sir? Why not help find the fragment for the warden? Oh, naturally, I'll be happy to lend you a hand. Kinko, guild mer merchant. If I take that lying down, and far be it for me to let them just get away with vandalizing the precious ruins of this region. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Marlins camp. Perhaps worth checking out. Yeah, I guess she doesn't want to talk to me. Alright, we gotta reclaim the wall fragment they stole. Okay, and then she'll trust me. So... Arizu's predicament. There's a request over there. I don't know if that's what we're doing right now, but let's get that out of the way. Oh no, I'm gonna drown. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Save me. <laughs> Alright. You passed all these Evans and Evan Forest. It's burned out campfire. Someone must have been here. Now, who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of you. There's only one reason people go poking around here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly. Before we show some poor fool how wrong he was to assume he could ever beat us. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. Charm. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seen double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads, I win. Tails, you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. We're the infamous band trio, the Misfortune Sisters, and your luck's just run out. Let me handle the sisters. I only hurt them a little. 
Come on, Toxy Croak. Let's douse these fools in poison. Holy shit, Slum Cat. The Bandit Coin challenged you to a battle. You seen this shit, Slum Cat? Taxi Croak? Waifu? Go, 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 Aerial Ace. And a shock. Oh god, critical hit. Quilaba's down. Cadaver. Confusion. Whoa. His ultimate weakness. Psychic speed. Coin down. And I found this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the galaxy team. We love I got no level up from that. Hmm, the galaxy team continues to spoil things for me, even after I've left. Take the blasted fragment and go, just leave us alone. You obtained a wall fragment. Fragment does once part of a stone panel in the solace. Celestian runes. It has markings carved on it that appear to be some kind of writing. Well, the weird writing on it made us think the stupid thing was some kind of treasure, but it turned out to be worth a slab of junk. Tuh. All that effort for nothing. Tell me, why were you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? I wanted to help Kalaba. Goodness, how selfless of you. To go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us had the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes us takes all that we have. And I've got a score to settle with the Galaxy team, which now includes you. Remember what those ancient verses tell us? Why is it in days of spring, beneath the soft caresses of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty? Your days are also numbered, galaxy fool. Okay, so... Arizu's predicament... Um, Oh yeah, I can zoom in. Cool. Annie's last satchel's over across. So what the hell is up here? Nothing. Oh. Up there was nothing. Well, it wasn't nothing because... I just got that. We get out of here. I'm under attack. Uh, Kalaba and Volo. Kalaba, good work. Very good work indeed, Sin. You got the fragment back safe and sound. I'm very aware of Kalaba's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old fashioned, and so on. But she's given the Pearl Clan all she has. Ever since she was young, she lived her prime years here in Hiswa region, trusting in the guidance of Almighty Cinema. I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. Rather, I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm Ursaluna's frenzy soon. The raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. Uh, 
Oh, so you've come to bother me again. Well, come as often as you like, but it won't change my mind. This wall fragment. What? You went and retrieved the fragment from those bandits? Why go out of your way like for... Go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're, you're, you're that eager to calm Ursaluna, hmm? That's right. I'll admit, I didn't expect anybody else to truly care for Ursaluna. Well then, let's see that wall fragment. And there we go. Good as new. Unknown, 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 unknown. Bunch of unknown symbols. Let me read what it says. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. I see. I suppose it means people helping out each other. Like how you helped retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I truly understand what it means. Maybe this is an almighty Sinuas guidance. What is your name then, boy? I see, Sin. Please let me lend me your strength so that we may help Ursula, Ursaluna. It's true that Ursaluna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will return to his normal state if we can give him some medicine. I could never bring myself to enrage Pokemon in battle, but that's something I can rely on for you, am I right? Ursaluna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. It's funny, I haven't really even thrown a berry yet. I forget what they do when you throw them for a Pokemon. Whoa, it's a tangler growth. There ain't no way. Tangle growth. Alright, I guess I gotta throw at him. I'm about to die. Level 45. Luxio! Luxio! Run away! Luxio's dead. I'm almost dead. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding out. Oh, I fell in the river. I'm drowning. There's a bar brooch. Oh, I'm dead. This is worse than Elden Ring, bro. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, it's a Yemen. Yemen then. A Yemen. Wait, I gotta make some Pokeballs. Your satchel was full of other items. Ugh. What kind of items are in my satchel?
Like, I don't know. Oh. Serious dust that can raise the effort level of one of your Pokemon stats. It can be used to raise effort levels only up to level three, however. Just put it on Kuilaba. Uh. I want his. Jeez, that's a good question. Special attack or attack for Quilava? I'll say special attack. Speed. Yeah, that was pretty good. So I can make heavy balls. Heavy balls. A ball that is too heavy to fly high or fire, but is highly effective if you manage to hit an unsuspecting Pokemon. I better have to catch him in a fight. Fusion. Oh my god, he's gusting my ass. Hypnosis? Oh, he used hypnosis too? Oh shit. We're gonna have to, uh, Throw a heavy ball at you. Got him. Level twenty three. My cat, he's a monster. <clears throat> well, what is that thing? like a random bush. Taxi croak. Oh my god, what's going on with the ground? Whoa, it's ghastly and taxi croak. We gotta catch these things. Let's do a bulldoze and hope he doesn't die. Oh, he did as hell. Oh, he dropped grit dust. Nice. Hope they don't kill him. Use an astonish. Oh my god, he's so fast, he attacks twice. Uh, okay, let's use a heavy. That's it, you cock ghastly. Number cop, one, one out of one. Okay. 
Oh, it's a hip. Oh, a hippodon. Oh my god, it's an alpha hippodon. Oh my god, it sees me. Oh my god. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh god, I'm drowning. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Game over. Okay, if I could just replace... There's no way this thing is my level, right? Level 46. Okay, Stantler's dead. I'm drowning. Nice. We both died. <laughs> oh shit, I'm still in the battle? Oh my god. Oh, this is... Uh, run away. Evacuate. 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 Now. See if we can use Scyther to catch a hippo down. Or hippo poltas. and kill him perfectly. No crits, no crits, nice. You might be able to catch him with a Pokeball. Got him. She was like uh, a sanitar for a minute, but it's just her and her beaver. Ursa Luna is enraged. Yes, but he must still recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never fails to show up the moment I play the Celestical Flute. Oh my god, she never even asked me if she's played it. We're all gonna die. Saluna. Rar. Now show your medal to Ursaluna. But remember that Ursaluna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. He's gonna tear my fucking head off. Dude. Oh, he's so fast. He destroyed Grabbler. Grabbler's dead. Debra, the six HP hypnosis. Our only chance. Rudrazi items. Let's use uh, a super potion and Quilava. Luna Sudra has to move. I guess there's no point in bringing back Graveler for him to get one hit. Nice critical hit with confusion. I was using Agile style baby doll eyes. Defensive stats were lowered. He slashed, I'm dead. Dab her down. Stay through time. Okay, we're gonna use Silver Wind. Baby Doll Eyes. Silver Wind again. He 
slash me, I got two HP. Oh my god. The one thing to do. Aerial ace. Aerial ace. Oh, not enough. Slash me. To death. We love a. Oh, I couldn't catch him. Alright, Quilava. Ember time. Alright, Ursaluna defeated. Quilava is level 22 now. Ursaluna, my poor darling, that must be exhausting. Exhausted from running around like that. Come, let me make you all better. I have a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It'll clear out any poison in Pokemon's body. If poison is what's causing Ursaluna's rage. One sec, I guess I gotta switch over to try to drop my headset. I'll switch to keyboard for a little bit. Um, I'll just put one on for now. This is sure to calm down. Calm him down. We call it Toxy Gun. If the poison is what's causing Ursaluna's rage, this is sure to calm him down. We call it Toxy Gun. He doesn't like the toxic gun. It's so potent that we only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. One second, I'm trying to set this up so I can play and charge both. Mm. Hopefully this works. Let's go options. Settings. I guess set all this up again. At least it's working. We can do both at the same time now. Okay. It's so potent that we only use it on rough Brazilian Pokemon like Ursa Luna. There, there, dear Ursaluna. You've calmed down now, haven't you? This is all very strange, though. He wasn't glowing. Very astute of you, Galaxy Team Recruit. You're exactly right. When you quelled Cleaver's frenzy, I could see a strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. But no such light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. And what is this clinging to Ursaluna's coat? It seems like some kind of powder. That girl from the Diamond Clan, Arizu. Now, why did she of all people find the need to come and tell me about Ursaluna, I wonder? Oh, but I almost forgot. Something important. Play your celestial flute for me, won't you? Her 
Ursuline opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Oh my god, I can ride him. He received the earth plate from Ursaluna. This, 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 or wait, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of earth. We used on a certain Pokemon and allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the ground type. Ursaluna is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. We say that he's digging for treasure, even if these treasures might not always gleam or glitter or gleam. Now go and let your commander know of what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. Brr. You can now call Ursaluna and dig for treasure. Ursaluna will rush towards any treasure he senses in front of him. Press the Y button to dig for treasure. When Ursaluna finds a spot that makes him react particularly strongly, he might find something very nice. I wonder what kind of treasure we can get. Nine. Part of a series of old poems that have been unearthed around the Hosoi region. Judging from the handwriting, it appears they were all written by the same person. Would you like to read it now? Read it. Mm. I set the bones of Pokemon adrift upon the river. I let my memories flow on adrift upon the river. And to the ocean they will flow perhaps around the world to go. How many bones and days now gone have I now set adrift from me? How many bones in days to come will I yet set adrift to see? While every gift ball with which I part takes a sliver of my heart. Black tumble stone. Okay, so you can make pokeballs from the, the stuff on the ground here. That looks good. So let's get hit up some crystals here and get some pokeball materials. Such foot root. Sky tumble zone, you might want to Oh, I hate that. You have to drop something. I need a bigger, uh, duffel, or, uh, fanny, fanny pack. This thing's like a tank, it just, like, walks over everything. Oh, it's Grabblers. Am I a cornet? see something because I might be able to level up uh might be able to evolve right there. Mm -hmm. 
Trigger evolution using black augurite on site there. Wild grabber will occasionally drop the stone when defeated. It's your best chance to tame when battle as many as you can. My problem is... Oh my guys are dead. See what Graveler can do versus Graveler. Two bows, nice. Rock slide. Okay, my Graveler's kicking his Graveler's ass. And mine's way bigger than his. Oh, we got it on the first try, dude. The first Graveler. You know what that means? Can we level? Yep. We're using it on site there. I'm getting a cleaver, baby. Ooh, cleaver. Bogan Rock. So it's attack defense, okay. Oh my god, look at all these moves he got. Air Slash. Stealth Rock. Double hit. The user adopts a hard hitting stance to increase the damage dealt by its moves by 50%. I don't know about all that. Can I move these guys around? No. I can swim it to hit my party. Is there way across? This water? Didn't seem like it. <clears throat> Let's see how we evolve Grabbler. Oh, after getting their hands on a linking cord. Players can get the linking cord at the Pokemon Exchange desk in exchange for 1,000 merit points. Here. Air 
slash. Follow the sky. Must be rock slide from the ground as he goes chasing it. heavy ball. slowly don't have space we're going to go back and dump some noises off I'm going to dump all these berries I don't need them Okay, so what's this? Medicinal properties, we'll keep that. Don't need this. Oh, 
Oh, I'm dead. He was bad, man. Oh, it's a real item. I don't have any fucking balls, though. Whoa, I'm so fast. How did that happen? Hey there, you're that go-getter from the Survey Corps, right? I've got a request for you if you got some time. I'd love to know more about Pokemon called Ros Roselia. It has these gorgeous red and blue flowers for hands, so it's a gra graceful Pokemon. I often come to the olden lowlands to admire Roselia, but just watching them from afar isn't enough for me anymore. Do you think you could complete Roselia's page in the Pokedex of yours and show it to me? I guess he runs faster when he's like pointing towards treasure. But I can't get up there. Maybe the other one can. Oh, he did. Holy shit. Turn into something cool. I'm dead now. Crack the berry. Give a joke. Some sky ones too. Idea for catching nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that are high in the sky. What's this? Stealth spray. Muffles the sounds of your footsteps, makes wild Pokemon just like leading those two. Seems pretty cool. Oh, you stunned for. What a dick. Paralyzed can't move. Poison powder, too. Well, on poison and stun? No, he overrode it. I need switch. Crap, there's no good for this. He's 
too good. Dang, <clears throat> kills well. Stardust, Iron Chunk, Tumbler Stone. Of a series of old phones. I'd like to read it now. Read it. Yo, what's up? Once there were two, and one looked upon time's steady pace, and one looked upon the expanse of face, and the two set out, and the fullness of future did they seek. The world's far end would they greet. Two different paths, each walking alone a path their own, though they would walk with the Almighty Sana. Alright. Check the team out. Um, this button. So we got Quilava, Cadabra, Luxio, Stantler, Cleveler, and Graveler. Cleaver is like my best, probably. Got 134 attack already. I kind of need to go back and heal my guys. Had the dungeons go. I think I can get golem if I uh, get this thing for a hunt, a thousand merit points, whatever that is. Not too bad, got a few levels. Nice, dude. Very nice. There's a, there's a new game people are playing, a new MMORPG. I think it's free to play, called Terrace Land. I don't know how good it is. They might be playing it because it's a sponsor, right? Yeah. Even Tally was playing it, and he's a World of Warcraft streamer. This Earth Luna can dig up treasure. I can actually catch Ghastly now. I might have already caught him, but I'm gonna catch him again. Oh, I'm afraid it's attacking now. Just raise my stats. Uh, fuck it. I won't kill him, right? Okay, we're good. You missed the waifu with the toxic croak, dude. There's some chick, and she was a triplet. Or she was part of a set of three sisters. Ah, uh, coin. Bandit coin. And the trio of sisters' name were uh, Misfortune. The Misfortune trio, or something like that. And I fought them, they only had one Pokemon, it was, uh, the level 22 Toxicroak. I had to defeat him to get, like, a fragment for a wall to continue the main story. OK, 
Okay, I gotta go tell the commander what happened. I also gotta talk to this guy. Hello there, so you're the Survey Corps child who quelled the Lord of the Woods, are you? Think you could help me with settling our new base camp or making one up by the box? Our Udo could sure use someone as capable as you. He's a fresh construction corps recruit. Still learning the ropes. Oof, what a stench. And a treasure. Oh my god, Hunter. Level 26. Been a shock? Oh my god. Use an air slash. Hopefully, don't kill you. Silver wind. Hypnosis. Kudrazi. Use a feather ball on your ass. Cat Hunter. Now I really need a Lincoln cord. The hell's that? It's all poison. Poison guys and uh, hippodons and shit here. Does seem to be treasure here though. Iron chunk. whisper meaning in this area. One moment, Sin. Would you come here, please? Here, Sin, I think you got something stuck to you. <laughs> oh, it's an unknown. Was 
Is that a Pokemon? Come to think of it, Volo did mention that there were carvings that resembled writing on the walls of the Silesian runes. But supposing that the Pokemon we just saw is a species with multiple forms, perhaps the carvings are actually likenesses of these very Pokemon. I'm going to add a section specifically for that species for your Pokedex soon. Unknown notes were added to your Pokedex. What's this style? Letter like brackings seem to have appeared in the section I just added. And was that your arc phone I just heard? If your mysterious device is reacting to this new species, I wonder what that could mean. Press the Y button while viewing the cover of the Pokedex. Jump to the unknown research notes. By deciphering the cryptic symbols found in these notes, you can try to find all the unknown hiding throughout the region. These unknown possess a mysterious power that repels Pokeballs containing Pokemon, so you won't be able to battle them. But track them down and catch them all if you can. Yeah, report the results. Your Pokemon catching up, it's a quite clear bearing fruit. I would report that. Nice. That's a good, good Pokemon there. Real good Pokemon. Oh, ho, oh, it seems like you've made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Uh -huh, it seems most, more. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex and it's new data. Almost three star. Turn to the village. Right out with a security cord escorting us. It'd be nice. A nice safe trip back to Jubilee. There you are, you'd better hurry to the commander's office. Oh, you can't use the mount in here. He was bad, man. Then we have a situation here. Let me explain. Lily Gant, our lady, our clan's lady of the ridge, is in a frenzy. The Ruza knowingly kept this from me. <clears throat> and Erzu knowingly kept this from me. The lady of what? Yes, there are only female Lily Gant, which makes this honored one our lady of the ridge. But this isn't the time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out just who, just what Rizu was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilee Village. Last I saw, she was at the Wallflower, polishing off a big old plate of potato mochi. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible after all. If Rizu of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in the situation with their aging Ursa Luna of the Pearl Clan, it could lead to the two clans going at each other's throats again. Tell me, Commander, if we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? We will be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? If we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with each other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not to take part in tearing the land apart. Right, of course. After all, the work you put in to get us to treat one another as equals and keeping us from fighting, I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Sin, perhaps you have some idea how we might address the situation? I could call her Saluna. 
Ursaluna. So he and Warden Kabbalah fan you worthy? That's perfect then. Ursaluna should be able to sniff out Arizu wherever she's gone. If you're strong enough that Ursaluna deemed you worthy, then you should be ready to quell Lilligan's frenzy as well. I'll head to Lilligan's seat then. Bravana, Brava Arena, it's called, if you'll excuse me. Listen well, Sin. You must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to the people of Hisui. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without war or strife. Ride on Ursaluna and follow the blue signals to sniff out Aruzla in Crimson Mirelands. Sweet, she's in the Mirelands. And this guy gotta give me some more room in my satchel, for Christ's sake. 1500, oh my god. One more client, oh my god. 2000, oh my god. It's so expensive now. Twenty five hundred. Oh, broke now. One extra item could be the difference between life and death. So where's the Pokemon exchange desk? What is this? I want to get items. Oh, you can get stones and stuff here. Linking cord. You don't have enough merit points. Okay, how do you get merit points? Let's see. How to get merit points in Pokemon Legends Arceus. In short, there's only one way to get earn merit points. Find and return lost satchels. We gotta get lost, lost satchels, eh? All right, let's go back to the Crimson Mirelands. We gotta get some merit points. The girl who set out earlier must have been eating some of Benny's potato mochi. I could still smell them on her. That reminds me, I've seen Mistress Calaba riding around on the Ursaluna she serves. Digging for treasure in the ground. I wonder if Ursaluna uses the sense of smell to suss out where treasure might be. Ursaluna now knows Arusla's scent. Follow the blue signals to find her. Yes, sir. This way. Oh, on the ground. <laughs> I followed them signals right to my dad. You saw the river she had for Christ's sake. This way. Oh my god, the whole mountain's gone see through.
No way. What? Kill that. You did it. Kill that. Kill that. Oh no. Kill that. Yeah. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. Nice. Uh, I don't need to go up here to get the the last section. Pseudo Wudo, where the hell am I? What's hell yeah? What the fuck is this? Alright man, I'm probably gonna head to bed too. Oh wait, this is what I was looking for. Alright, talk to you later, bro. Let's save it here. Again. Alright, might as well get the satchel that's over here. Whisper satchel. Whisk. Oh, the satchel's up there. I shouldn't jump down so far so fast. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up there. Oh, I'm dead. No, so close. Satchel sent back to Annie. Thanks for helping. We did it. We did it. How many his satchel or how many mayor points is that on there? It's a Rhyhorn. Alpha Rhyhorn. Okay, the section should be... I'm guessing uh, Behind me. Kingsley. Satchel right there. And there's also a quest over there. 
see where this blue leads us. Oh, diamond settlement. You're from Galaxy Team Marine. If you know the medicine that can cure headaches, I need for my side. I live together with these ones and you tear this suffering terribly. I wish I could have help, but I'm not the medicines work. There's so many people in the Galaxy Team, surely you have some sort of healer. Please ask them for some medicine. Yep. Yeah. Where's the blue? Blue is this way. Oh my god, turn. Oh, it's her. Ursula. Oh, soon, how did you go? How did it all go with Ursula? I helped him. Thanks a bunch, fella, but how'd you find me all the way out here? Ursa Luna found you. You tracked me all the way here by the scent of these potato moochie I ate? That Ursa Luna sure is something. I know he's descended from one of the Pokemon that were blessed by Almighty Sinna, but still, wow. My luck's run out, though, as you can mostly likely tell. I got chased by Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running away. It's almost like the world wants to punch me. Ah, oh, there you are, Ruza, right? Eek. Mrs. Glava, uh, I, I, I didn't. I owe you an apology or treat with disrespect, thinking you were just some whelp from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry for that. I should have treated you better. Huh, wait, but. It's not your fault that Lilligant became frenzied, nor that my Ursaluna was so enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You'd think someone who's lived as long as I have would be more patient. It's okay, I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Ursaluna only started acting weird after he got too close to Lugan and smelled her perfume. She was already frenzied by that point, so I'm sure that's what I caused it. Ah, uh, that explains the strange powder I found on Ursaluna. I must have been powder from Lugan. But what happened to your leg, dear? It was gathering ingredients to make bombs, but I fell and sprained my ankle. I see the reason I went to Jubilee was to get help for Ursaluna and also learn about crafting. While I was there, I bumped into Professor Lavington. He told me about the bombs you used to quell Cleavor. So I decided to make some for Lugan using her favorite foods. The galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn more, even more from you, really. Well, we'd better take care of our lady and get all this mess resolved first. Adamant. Why were you thinking doing all this yourself? Did you think I could help you? Though no one would blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader am I. I'm not even seeing all the almighty sin off of my own eyes. And I failed to imagine that Lilligant might have become frenzied too. Listen up, Sin. I'll take the bombs that Arizu made and meet you at Brava Arena. Don't you worry, Arizu. Sin will calm Lilligant. And that will be that. Things will settle down. Head to Brava Arena, Sin. That's where the Ligand Seat lies. Ariza will be taking care of my dear Bee Barrel, and I will make sure she react reaches her lady. Okay, I don't know what's going on now, but I need to go back to Dan and save the game. Get out. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um. I don't know how long this is going to take. No. Okay, we're good. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. That was fun. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to hit... Uh, well, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. And 
uh, if you're watching on Twitch, I am streaming every day and I'm trying to, um, get more followers so that I can become affiliated and I can up the bit rate and all that stuff. So, uh, thanks for watching and we'll be doing, I'm not sure what we're doing tomorrow. It might be more of this, it might be some frag punk, it might be God only knows what comes out tomorrow. So we'll be seeing. And, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, share, subscribe, follow, and see you guys soon.